Good morning. The theme of my reflection today is Dare to be Different. When I was thinking of what to share for this reflection, the word ambassador came to my mind. And I reflected on one of Jared's July services through Zoom when he shared on the church as the people of God, Christ ambassadors. And I meditated on these words. Christians are Christ ambassadors, and how can we be effective and faithful representatives of Christ? As Christian and as Christ ambassadors in this world, we have to dare to be different. What's the meaning of the word dare? Something bad? The word dare is usually associated with being charged to do something dangerous and might even be fatal. I looked up the verb dare, and it means to have the courage to do something, and that something can be bad or can be good for you. Jesus was daring his disciples, his followers, to do something for their own good. As Christians and Christ ambassadors, we are to be different from the world around us. The Holy Spirit through Paul tells us of how we can be different in Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. And I will read Romans 12, 1 and 2. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you'll be able to test and approve of what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. God is saying here to us, dare to be different. It's for our own good. It's my will and it pleases me. That's what the Lord is saying. God's Spirit is living inside of us and we can dare to be different. And we could do so by doing three things. One, dare to evaluate. That is to have courage to evaluate ourselves and our lives and renew our minds through studying God's word in the Bible. Two, dare to submit, having a desire for God's work in our lives to give us the character of Christ and ask him to transform us into what he desires of us. Three, dare to expect results. When God starts his inside out transformation, one, our priorities change, and two, our character changes too. By God's help and faith in him, we can dare to be different from the world and more people will be drawn to Christ. Let us pray. Majestic Father, we thank you for your love for us, for your grace during these unprecedented times of COVID-19 pandemic. We thank you for this day and all that you've given us. Would you walk with each one of us and help us in all that we do? Holy Father, we pray asking for transformation. Transform our minds, show your will, and change our ways so we can obey and do your will. We pray for renewing of our wisdom so we can make better choices. Holy Spirit, help us to dare to be different. Give us the influence with those around us, our family and friends, and others who come into contact with, so that we can show them God's love and draw them to, to Christ. Merciful God, help us to dare to submit and have desire for your work in our lives and mold us to what you desire of us for your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed and believed. Amen. Have a good day.